working as vice president group sustainability at Constantia Flexibles. Constantia Flexibles, one of the biggest packaging converter, um, already um, ASI performance certified with one of its biggest plants. Yeah. At Constantia Flexibles, um, our biggest plant is located in Austria, in Lower Austria exactly. So this is our Oh, this was our first plant with a more than 100 year old tradition where we produce um, aluminium foil by itself as, as plain foil and also aluminium foil for flexible packaging. And this plant has been certified um, against the ASI performance standard criteria, not only um, foil rolling, also the lamination process, the printing processes and all the other ones. Now Constantia Flexivus was one of the founding members of the Aluminium Stewardship, uh, Stewardship Initiative. So we are part from the very beginning, even before the ASI um, was founded by itself, also during the scoping phase, as we called it. We want to set up a global international response at the sourcing standard for aluminium, um, which fits to our culture from our family on DNA and our responsibility um, for our stakeholders. Um, as aluminium, of course, is one of our main materials. And we said, okay, we also don't want to lose the momentum after we um, finally said, okay, the standard has been developed um, with, uh, with its first version. So now it's also time for Constantia. And this is the logical next step, of course, um, to be uh, certified against this standard. So, and this was, this was, of course, very challenging. We also said to ourselves, okay, what will be uh, the criteria um, what do we already have on hand or have implemented and is there any any lack of course and then we started already to looking at different criteria what is part of the environmental management system what about all the other social um, criteria of course this is also very important for us um, being already ZX um, certified for all this ethical sourcing and all the other things, we had already a bit knowledge in all the things, what maybe the auditor will ask also to fulfill the different criteria of the standard. So um, we came together, especially on plant level, um, with um, plant levels on quality management, set together what do we have, and also volunteered to be one of the first let's call it the better version of the elemental platform to also start with all filling in the things and also testing how the elemental platform is, is working and also took all the stuff put into the platform also evaluating ourselves where are the different lags um, that we are already prepared. The auditors by itself was very happy to have something implemented like the elemental that it also they have seen also before that oh this could help me very much and also easier our, our process for auditing because we are able to put everything inside and they also could see the legs if there were any legs um, at that one. There were some question mark um, especially with topics like for example biodiversity by its own. So we will investigate more um, in the course of biodiversity, not for a plant situated or located in Austria, but especially for plants situated somewhere else like in Africa and, and so on. Because also we see other plants who will be certified against the ASI standard in the next future. Mm -hmm. So people already were aware and were waiting for this standard. Um, and after we had the, finally the certification, we made the um, public announcement on our website and very strong internally. Also, we have so we call it team magazines on plant level, for example, that also people understand what's going on. And at Constancia Flexibles, there's a high commitment also from all the employees um, to, to sustainability, corporate social responsibility and, and, and all these things. And I, I, I can tell you especially our biggest plan and our first plan, so, and people are very proud. There are a lot of customers who are interested to work with ASI material, ASI compliant material, and also to have it on their or use it for the final products that go directly to the end consumer. As we as a packaging converter, we have the, uh, the brand owner as a next step or also the retailer or the 
with it as an, 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 an own brand, then they end consumer directly. So there are not very um, uh, many steps until the product reaches the end consumer for its die cut lid of aluminium for yogurt, for example, or all the other things. Customers are asking, customers are interested. Yeah. We are pushing this, of course, that the whole supply chain strives to go for ASI and so on, that we also finally can deliver this material. As only we as an yeah, island solution here, somewhere else being one, I'm also dependent on my upstream supply chain or also on the downstream. But also I can tell you, you are asking me, what about your customers? Also the upstream ones who are not prepared or were not part of the standard setting process and all the other things, they are also asking, so I, I don't want to say I, I get pressure, but I get a lot of questions from upstream and also downstream. And that's good. So because to be finally succeed, as you know, everybody of the supply chain has to work with each other. Yeah. Lessons learned. And I think it's, 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 it's typical for ASI, this is something special, this is something very new for everybody. If you have a chance to work on such a great thing, I would say, um, involve at the very early stage the other ones who will finally work with them. This helps you a lot. To fasten all the certification process that people know um, the expectations and what they have to provide on data, other certifications, on the different pillars of, of sustainability and ASI, the environmental ones, the emissions, the LCA data, um, the waste, the water, income, fair wages, treatment, anti-bribery corruption and all the different things. So only when you think about these different points, you see you have to involve a lot of other people, a lot of other how we are set up group functions and a lot of people on plant level, of course, because you know, we have this emission, we have this volatile organic compounds, this and this and this. And if you involve this on a very early stage, and I by myself, I would say, okay, hmm, maybe I've underestimated this in the beginning a little bit, and it's good that we have involved the other ones at a very early stage. But as early as is possible, just do it for the certification process for putting in all the information in the elemental, that you have somebody, two people, who will really see their ownership for this. The next step, already looking at the next future, will be chain of custody. But the challenge there, so I can here also speak very frankly, as I said already, is beside the different criteria, which we see we can fulfill, is more um, the IT infrastructure for tracking the material, um, the, the, the mass flow in at the plant, coming raw materials, aluminium foil stock, aluminium foil plane here, um, different production steps, rolling and so on, then here converting to really have the right mass on the on the purchase order there, to have the right mass in the final year. So we don't have um, right now, but we are already working on this. And if um, responsible sourcing fits to your sourcing strategy, sustainability CSR strategy by itself, and if they are already strong there, and also they are all raw material dependent, like Constanza Flexible, so our scrubs re emissions, the indirect emissions coming off the supply chain, of course, big part is aluminium, then of course it does make sense if we really believe to do a good thing there. There is a really high credible standard and if you want beside paper or other things, you want to do something with aluminium, so that's the only thing to do it um, if you want to implement this.